So we're doing a nerve muscle stimulation demonstration where we're going to be stimulating the median nerve and stimulating that median nerve so that you can stimulate and get a muscle contraction from here. So what we'll need to do is a couple of principles to think about. We've got to be able to stimulate the nerve and therefore we've got a stimulating bar that will pass a small current of electricity through. It will penetrate down into the motor neuron and if we can hit the motor neurons of the median nerve you should get that muscle contraction. So if we've got a way of stimulating we also need a way of recording as well so what we'll have is a set of recording electrodes that will be placed onto the thumb which will allow us then to monitor any sort of depolarization or movement and activity that occurs as the thumb gets drawn over to the little finger so what i'd like you to do is if you can use a mediswab first of all to make sure that there's no grease or anything on the skin and it will allow adhesion and a good transfer okay so and if you do another one just on it that's it just so that we've got somewhere to place the earth right and then if you'd like to take the electrodes and what i'd advise is actually connect the electrodes up to the earth positive and negative before you stick them onto the skin it's easier rather than giving big indentations and trying to push against the skin of our subject That's it. So you want positive electrode is going onto the thumb, and then the negative electrode can go next to it. Keep the wires out of the way for you. Okay, and then the earth electrode will put up the forearm. It's a, essentially so that it's out of the way of where we're actually going to be stimulating. Okay, so what we need to do is just make sure that our recording system is working. So what I'd like you to do is give me that resistive movement against your thumb, and if it's recording, we'll be able to see the electrical activity of the muscle contraction. There you go. That's now being picked up through the recording electrodes. So you can see on the screens that you've got the electrical activity of your muscle as it's depolarizing and repolarizing allowing that contraction and the surface recording electrodes are picking up that surface potential so we can now use that to be able to stimulate the median nerve which will specifically cause the contraction of the muscle that causes the thumb to come over into the hand and therefore we should see a single contraction on the screen as opposed to that multiple myogenic activity so we will take our stimulating bar we will use a conductive cream just so that we can ensure that we get a good transfer of the stimulus potential. You don't want to use too much because if you use too much of the cream what you end up with is the stimulus actually just arcing across and it doesn't actually penetrate down into the tissue. So we'll find the median nerve, we'll place our stimulating bar where we know that that track should be and then we've got our amplitude set to about 12 milliamps and our duration is about 0 0.05 milliseconds and we should if we can find the nerve get a nice stimulus and obviously because we're talking physiology it's not that easy to always find the nerve if I can just pick your arm up please okay and we'll go to there. Right, so you should be able to, if you can't see anything on the screen, it could be that the stimulus isn't strong enough. So whereabouts can you feel down the, the stimulus? So you can feel it down the middle finger. Okay, so it may be that we just need to come across a little bit. And there we go. We've managed to get it. So if I do that again, at the moment you can see that the stimulus is super maximal. It's actually coming off the screen, but you can see the thumb. Okay, and every time we hit start or press start on the machine, you'll be able to see that you get a stimulus and therefore we know we've got a single contraction of that muscle and we've not got any of the fingers twitching either. So what we can do is bring that stimulus down now. And there you go. We've managed to get stimulus, which we know is stimulating the nerve. It's causing 
contraction of the muscle at the base of the thumb. And you can see that on screen as being a depolarization and repolarization as the, deep, the muscle activity moves across the negative and positive electrodes.